Hello artists, today we're going to make your own version of Vincent Van Gogh's sunflowers and we will have a blue paper of one size or another. It needs to be vertical or portrait view. Name in a corner, please and thank you, or on the back in a corner. And first up, you're going to pick a long skinny piece of paper and it might not be the same color as mine. And we're going to glue it. Notice how I just made an outline here. And we want it to line up with the very bottom. And this will be the table for your lovely sunflowers, giving it a nice massage to make sure it stays down. Then you'll have a paper that is not as long and skinny. It's going to be vertical as well. We're going to fold it so the long sides touch. And then so we don't get confused, we can open it. And over here towards the outside edge, we're going to draw a line for the side of a vase. So I just made a gentle curve way over on the edge. And I'm refolding it. I'm going to cut on that line. Vincent's vase was two-tone. He had two colors. So one color will be paper color. The other color will be a color of your choice. And if we want this to look round, what I'm going to do is make a curve so it looks like a smile. And then I'm going to use some chalk. You can use the side if it cooperates. And I'll lightly put some chalk on one half or the other. Top half or bottom half, you pick. And then we blend to make it all soft and fuzzy and wonderful. And one more thing, if you want your vase to look even rounder, we could take the bottom and I'll cut a little curve down there. So glue stick outline just like before. Making sure the bottom is overlapping the table. Press. This time I'm not rubbing all over because I don't want chalk everywhere. Next, you will have some brown paint and some bubble wrap. One side is smoother, the other side is bumpy. We want the bumpy side and we're going to take a brush and we are brushing the bumpy side. I'm not trying to get every inch, I'm just trying to hit the bubbles. And what these will do is make excellent texture for sunflower seeds. So you're going to pick a spot somewhere up above, gently press, I'm being very light, I'm not popping any bubbles, lift and repeat. Every little circle that you have is going to be a sunflower. So I put three on here, I will have three sunflowers. And lastly, you will have yellow paint and a fork. And I'm putting the back side of the fork in the paint and then we press. And this will make some excellent sunflower petals. And if a little bit of your brown gets into the yellow, that's okay. can always go in and add some stems for sunflowers. You might not see them all or maybe you'll have a leaf 